Hey guys, long time no see. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Claire and I took an unintended hiatus for a little bit throughout January and the latter half of December. I get to certain points and if you've been with me throughout my journey on this channel, I've done this once or twice before where I get burned out on YouTube and I never want to get to a point where I hate YouTube because I'm so sick of it or stressed from it. You know, this is something that I do for fun and I do to connect with other like-minded people and to just explore and talk about mainly the different hobbies that I have in my life. So I just needed to take a little bit of a break from it, but then I was starting to miss it and miss you guys. And now I'm back for another hyper productive weekly vlog. So if you have never been to my channel before, welcome. I primarily talk about writing fiction, particularly my fantasy YA novel that I'm working on getting traditionally published, uh, reading fantasy books, I'm trying to learn Irish, and I'm constantly trying to explore different ways to be even more productive <laughs> and get even more things done and accomplished. So. Because I haven't seen you guys in a minute, I actually have developed a new little system to like track my productivity. I have a new journal to also help me with that. Oh my goodness, let me just begin. So I'm still using my daily planner. I have a whole video on the type of planner that I use, why I like it, and specifically how I fill out my daily and weekly tasks. One of the key things that I've started to incorporate recently that has been such a game changer, especially in regards to editing my book because Again, if you are not familiar with what I'm doing, I am in the throes of editing my YA fantasy manuscript to eventually query to a literary agent. It was actually listening to one of Brandon Sanderson's latest writing advice videos and he said to be on par with being traditionally published to be a professional fiction writer you have to write about a hundred thousand words a year and you should be working on your book a minimum of four hours a week and that just really stuck with me because it's like four hours a week you know i spend like way more time than that just walking my dog or watching or listening to YouTube or reading. So it's like, wow, four hours a week is nothing, even in just one chunk. You know, that's a short shift at <laughs> any general job. It's like four hours, let alone spread out throughout a week. So I also realized that Monday, Tuesday, and maybe Wednesday are really good writing days for me because those are almost days I can guarantee I'm not going to be hanging out with people. One of the problems I have with my whole writing schedule is I am hyper social, hyper extroverted. I love having people over. I love going to hang out with people. And it's something that I don't really have the willpower to say no to because it fuels me. However, Monday, these beginning of the weeks, the Monday, the Tuesdays, I have several friends where it's like they're working or they're at school and that's a guaranteed. And so I have kind of mentally been like, those are going to be my writing days where I'm going to get the majority of those four hours done. It doesn't have to be all four hours, like I didn't hit all four hours Monday and Tuesday this week, but now what's left, I can easily incorporate into the rest of my week. So that has been a huge game changer. And let me show you my adorable journal. Okay, I'm burying the lead. So I found this very randomly at Walmart when I was running around getting groceries. I didn't even mean to go down the like journal aisle and I saw this and it was kind of on a whim to purchase, but I actually really, really love it. And it's called The Thoughtful Journal. So the thing I really like about this is that it has a monthly overview page where it kind of goes over like, oh, how did last month go? What are you looking forward to this month? What cheers you up when you feel down? It has some habit trackers, a place to put notes, and then it breaks it down by weeks. And so it's, it's different from a planner. I'm not scheduling. Things. It's not a calendar, but I like that it gives me an opportunity to write down like my, my focuses, my intentions for the week. Writing stuff down is just a really good way for me to clear my head and to solidify some like thoughts or goals or ideas that I have. Writing is obviously very 
important for my own internal processing. So something like this is not going to be useful for everyone. I just really like how this is set up. It's simple, it's straightforward. It's not bulky. I just put it by my bedside table and I try to glance at it, you know, every other night or so just to see that I'm being on track. And I'm a big fan of it thus far. The other fun uh, habit tracker thing that I started incorporating is my erase board calendar. As you can see at the bottom there, I have like my different habits color coded, these different uh, dry erase markers. And I just, especially when I remember to, go throughout the day and mark an X if I did those things. The last two days I did accomplish some writing. Writing is in red. I check marks it in red. Obviously, the more colors you have, the more productive I feel that day. And it's not like I need to do these every day. Like, I'm not going to the gym every day. That's not necessarily a goal of mine. I don't even need to write every day. But it's just good to be like, okay, I'm accomplishing something on the daily. There's not going to be any blank days. And since my first love, and part of the reason I started this channel is to talk about the books that I'm reading, I need to talk about the books that I'm reading. Okay, so I finally set up the Kindle that one of my best friends gave to me for my birthday, which thank you so much, Brie, because um, I absolutely am obsessed with it. And I still like physically reading books, but gosh darn, if this thing isn't easy and intuitive. The two that I'm going between are Atomic Habits by James Clear, which is a book that I got for my brother for Christmas this year. And I've just heard so much about it. I really like the way that he explains habits and, and I'm only 15% into the book, but he's mostly talking about how the best way to incorporate new habits or to change your habits is to go into like the core of your identity and change who your perception of yourself. But fiction wise, I am so into Outlander. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I haven't gotten into this book earlier because it's so up my alley. It's absurd. So Outlander is this hyper successful book series that is now a TV show. And it's kind of a, a historical fantasy romance, but it mostly takes place in Scotland in the early 1800s, I want to say. So like, oh, <laughs> my vibe entirely. And it's about this woman whose name is also Claire. And she was a World War II English nurse. And she goes to the Scotland Highlands with her husband on like a romantic getaway. And then she ends up getting transported, teleported back to the early 1800s in Scotland when the English are invading and the Scots find her. And it's just, uh, it just goes from there. I really like the writing style. I love how much history and, and more just like how medieval life was for that culture is incorporated into the story. That's what I love the most. And she does, this author does such a fantastic job at incorporating that in a really interesting way. So it doesn't really feel like I'm reading some dull, boring, like Celtic history book. It's, it's still very much a story, but oh, it's so fun. As for an audiobook, oh, I've been so bad. I only have four hours left of Lies of Loch Lamora, which I have been like slowly chewing through. I had to stop listening to it for almost two weeks because if, and if you've read this book before, you know exactly why I had to stop because something happens. I wasn't prepared for it. And I had to stop. I like, I just dreaded listening further. And it ended up being, being, you know, I'm still like very much wrapped up in the, in the book and in the plot. And I got back into it. But I've also been really bad about listening to my audiobooks because I've been really into this uh, series that's on YouTube called the SCP Foundation. I'm sure some of you have heard of it before. It's mega popular and it's these 15, 20 minute stories, but it's, it's written up like these reports, like these clinical reports about these different anomalies and the SCP Foundation usually finds out about them and tries to capture them, tamper them. And these anomalies, at least the ones that I've been listening to, I've only listened to maybe eight thus far, are generally like 
<laughs> creepy or weird or kind of a mind fuck like a science fiction-y twilight zone with a kind of men in black vibe on top of that i'm not sure i have a favorite scp thus far i think i need to listen to a lot more of them before i can can recommend my top scps but maybe i'll get into it at some point it is really good high quality fiction. I love especially ones that are about like creepy monsters or creature lore or gods like that stuff I really really like. Definitely if you have a favorite SCP episode leave it down in the comments below and I will check it out. So I've been talking to you guys <laughs> for like a solid 20 minutes. The sun is starting to set. I'm gonna go walk my puppy and then work on some editing. I finally finished editing. I had a chapter that that was like just giving me a lot of grief because it required a lot of work. <laughs> um, but I finally finished editing it, so I'm gonna go and read it all the way through. And because I'm sure there's like a few things here and there that I need to like tighten up and snatch and change words on. But other than that, it's pretty set to go. And then I have some friends that are coming over later to make some burritos with me. So anyway, I will check in with you guys in a little bit. Hi guys, so it's actually the following day and it's about to get real cold in Des Moines. Like we're dipping down into the negatives this weekend. So that being said, I have a Super Bowl party this Sunday and I'm heading out to my mom's with UConn to play some games, but also just to kind of break routine. I have a three day weekend, so I get time away from my typical job, but I also have completed the four hours that I wanted to hit for this week, but I want to continue to edit the chapter that I'm on and get that done and work on this video. So I'm just trying to keep up being productive while being social and kind of getting away from things. So that being said, I will see you guys in a little bit. already. Holy cow. You think I'm gonna get four, Mom? Uh, no, no. <laughs> How good did I do, Mom? Oh, I think you did a little <laughs> more than four. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so it is brutally cold out and I've had such a fun time down at my mom's mostly playing board games and hanging out with the family and walking the puppy. Actually, that was not fun. That was brutal. It is so cold out and it snowed even more today, but I'm going out to dinner tonight. Tomorrow's going to be super fun too because two of my very close friends are eloping and I get to be the witness. I have Super Bowl Sunday to go to, so it is just a jam-packed weekend because I have a three-day weekend. I still have Monday off, so I can do more reading, more editing, and just setting myself up for a very productive week ahead. <laughs>
Hey guys, <laughs> it has been quite a morning. And while I had a great jam-packed weekend and in a lot of ways I feel very refreshed and excited for the week ahead and today is going to be a very writing heavy day and my last day of this week's vlog but um, I've, I've had quite a morning because Yukon came inside. I always put him out on his lead to hang out outside. This is his favorite time of year. He seems very comfortable. He literally spends hours even though it's in the negatives right now and he came inside and threw up and it looked different and I look outside and there's a mangled bunny just everywhere just all over the place so I got to clean up bunny guts and bunny parts and pick up bits of spine and fur for a little bit this morning so anyway didn't quite go as planned so now I have not as much time as I originally as hope, but I do have some time before work to get some of my editing done. And I had some technical difficulties with my computer. Everything seems to have worked itself out and is fine now, but I had some issues yesterday. So just some, some roadblocks that got in the way of my overall productivity, but I feel like I'm in a really good spot right now, so I'm gonna get to editing before work. 